put out a couple videos kind of saying here's the the new 3.0 and the 3.0 pro from tacticam revealed by tacticam um and, and those were turned out really good um online i'm seeing a lot of people saying which one should i get i don't know which one i should buy here's my scenario which one should i buy so i thought a little video just kind of saying if i was in this scenario this is the one i would get or if i was in this scenario this is the one i would get um might be um beneficial to some people so what I'm going to do, uh, I've got some different scenarios, and I'll tell you which one I would get. So just to start off, go back and watch those videos where I, where I talk about this is what's new on the 3.0 Pro, this is what's new on the 3.0. Watch those videos. They are helpful. Um, but as far as, like, the 3.0 Pro, which is $150, um, it's $30 more than the, just the 3.0, has some better has some features that the 3.0 doesn't have. Uh, it's got better image quality. It has video, better video quality. It has on-demand video. They both can get video. So, uh, so people were confused about that, thinking the 3.0 didn't have video mode. They both will do videos. If a deer walks out and you have your 3.0 on pick and video, it'll take a picture. You can request that video. The video will come in. It'll be just that video of that deer. The, the Pro has the ability to say, it's 7 a.m., it's just past sunrise, what's out in that field right now, <clears throat> send a 10 second video, request a 10 second video, uh, which is new. That's not something, that's as close to live view as we've seen with a reveal cell camera. So um, <clears throat> it, it's, that's the difference in them. And it has the screen on there that lets you see you know, what it's aimed at. So you don't even have to get your phone out and aim it with your phone. Other than that, they're pretty identical. Uh, they're gonna select the best signal based off the you know the SIM card that's pre-installed. You don't even have to pick it anymore. It has an internal storage. You don't have to put an SD card in. You know the antennas are the same as far as you know, the way they move and flex and they snap to the side. They're pretty identical other than that. So it's a thirty dollar difference. So let's think about this. Uh, if you're a food plot guy, which camera would you go buy? Um, if I'm a food, if I'm looking on a food plot, I'm probably gonna get the X Pro 3.0 because of the higher quality video and the ability to request a 10 second video. So what happens on food plots is a deer may be slowly grazing way off on the back side. It's you know, so far away that maybe it doesn't trigger it or maybe it's moving so slow back off on the far side it doesn't trigger. So you don't even know it's there. Uh, but if every morning you request that 10 second video, you can start seeing, okay, deer on the other corner or over on this other side in the mornings, maybe I need to move my camera, something like that. I'm gonna use the X-Pro for waterfowl, similar situation. I'm gonna put it on my slews and i'm going to request pictures at you know a little after morning sunrise what's the our video to say what's the where are the ducks at you know and, and that way i don't have to wait on a, a little duck to swim in front of it and, tr and trigger it um, so if i'm a food plot guy that's that's probably where i'm going not to mention the better pictures or videos i can zoom in more because they may be farther away and i can see you know what deer is this how many points is it so on and so forth having that better image quality will help you do that on a food plot if I'm a public land guy, now there's two schools of thought here. If I'm a public land guy, used to I would say put the X Pro because it has the GPS in it. Uh, but now the X 3.0 has GPS in it. So if it's me and I'm worried about my camera getting stolen, I'm gonna go with the X 3.0, save 30 bucks, still have GPS, still have the hybrid mode, the better battery life, all the cool features. Um, but I'm gonna save $30 so if somebody does steal it, it's not my high-end $150 camera. The other school of thought on that is if it's a high pressured area where the deer are real sensitive to cameras, um, I might go with the X Pro 3.0 because it has the no glow flash. So it's just kind of one of those you got to decide. If you're in Iowa, Kansas, you know, you might want to go with, uh, which I know both of those places have outlawed cell cameras on public land, but maybe it's a lease somewhere. Uh, Michigan, maybe you're in one of these places that have a bunch of deer hunters and they're hunting public land, they're hanging cameras. You might want to go with an X Pro so that that camera has no glow flash. Um, maybe it's less likely to spook the deer. I've been running the 3.0 and it has not spooked any deer at all. And, you know, I've been running pick and video mode. So I haven't seen that cause problems uh, on the 3.0. The 3.0 is low glow flash. So both of them should be fine. But just something to think about on a high pressured area, it might be worth going with no glow which is the 3.0 pro the 150 dollars camera all right so next up you're just like basically most people that hunt in the south and that is you put a corn feeder out you set around 20 yards off the feeder and you wait on deer to come to the feeder that's what most people in the south are doing uh if you're that guy uh you probably would be better off just getting the 3.0 for 120 and then using that 30 or 40 dollars that you would have paid to upgrade to the pro 3.0 and buy a solar panel uh, get some kind of external battery on it 
you would be much happier with that external battery because feeders drain batteries on cell cameras. That same doe that sits there from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. just grazing in front of it all night long and it's just constantly taking pictures and then transmitting the pictures, that's gonna zap your battery. Um, most of the time, they don't seem to be too nervous around the feeder, especially if they're at night. So I don't think the no-glow versus the low-glow flash would be a big issue. Uh, if it's me and where I'm putting my cameras, the ones that are on feeders, I'm just gonna do a 3.0 um, and I'm gonna put it in hybrid mode so it doesn't drain my battery. I'm gonna put an external power source on it like the Tacticam solar panel or an external 12 volt and I'm gonna just let it let it run. So let's say you're the older guy or the not very tech savvy guy. If you're, if you're new to cell cameras and maybe you're not used to setting them up on the app and the apps are confusing, you don't really wanna to have to think too much about that. If you're that guy and you don't get into the tech side of things, I would go with the X Pro. For this reason, it's got a screen on it, just like an old school camera. You do a few things on the app to get it set up. You could have somebody help you with that. And then when you go move your camera and you set it up, you can do all the settings there on the screen. You don't have to uh, go to the app and change all your settings. You can do all those settings there on that screen. It's right in front of you. You can see what you're doing and it's easy to access. Um, and then you just turn it on and walk off and it's gonna send you those pictures. Whereas the 3.0, you're gonna need to get on the app be a little proficient with the app and be able to set up, um, you know, the settings you want that are the best for you and keep up with battery life and signal and all that stuff. Uh, so if I was getting this for like um, an older person that wants to be involved, wants to watch deer or Christmas present for a grandpa or a dad or something that's not very tech savvy, I'd get the X Pro 3.0 and that way they can set it up uh, very similar to the way they've probably been setting up trail cameras for the past 15, 20 years and it'll still send them to the phone just like they normally would with, with any cell camera. So um, those are a few scenarios. I hope that answers some questions about which one do I need, which scenario. Uh, either way, you won't go wrong. Uh, there are some scenarios where maybe you're better off saving some money, getting the $120 3.0, and then buying some accessories to go with it, whether it be the booster antenna or the uh, solar panel or the angled uh, you know, mount so that you can hang it high and aim it down. Uh, if you're on public land, that would be an option that might be good. So some things to think about. Hopefully this helps you out. Uh, do me a favor. If you haven't already, check out, you can't really see that flag there, but bowcrew.com. Use triple R Woods 20 at checkout. It'll save you 20%. They've got sweet shirts, deer camps coming up. Uh, you know, have a good looking, cool hunting shirt. Don't be buying just, you know, your regular old Nike shirts. Um, that helps me out. It helps you out as well. Uh, check out my eBay store, Badger Bow Mounts is the eBay store. It's actually badger.bow.mounts on eBay. Uh, I've got a lot of cool cell camera stuff there and, and, and some, some neat ideas for outdoors and, and hunting and, and innovation. So check those out. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe. Thank you.